I'm Jessica. Today the topic is about how do I make non-toxic disinfectant or sanitizer at home? A bit of the short story is about 2020 on March. Early on March, I actually fly back to Singapore or Malaysia for family visiting. But when that time I already realized that it's super difficult to find any disinfectants or like um, masks and everything. So after I came back, it's become more difficult to get everything. So I think I done some research. As I'm not a scientist, I'm just going to do some basic research. So I just think this will be a good invest and then it's going to be like non-toxic and more safer and then it's nicer to the nature also. The one I chose is Boss of Nature. It's actually making a high bra Cronox Exit Erectonizer making machine water. Please forgive my pronunciation. I will just put the text here and any one of you can just research about that, okay? I already have the Fossil Nature more than six months. I believe the box when they came in is already gone. It does come with a menu. I also come with a machine. The wire plug and the bottle also come with the capsule. In their quick start guide, they did actually mention that they are safe for kids, safe for pets, and also non toxic. In their website, they actually also mentioned that yes, it's actually okay to use it to clean the kid toys and then to clean any. Thing that you feel like you need to clean and then like you don't feel safe to use the more chemical kind of like disinfectants to clean it that actually is very safe because for this solution right it actually will be evaporate in the air like after a while they won't left any residue inside that's what i really like so i think you can do some more research and see really is it suitable for you the way this video is not sponsored i actually just feel like it's nice to have something that you can make yourself a disinfectant, especially on this timing. I just doing this because I I myself using it, so I want to share my experience to you. So let's go to make the disinfectant now. Actually, the pour water in. They do have a black line behind. <laughs> I don't think my camera can capture. Can you see a black line behind? Basically, they have a water line behind it to let you know that. Uh, pour until that that line. <laughs> okay, let's just pour the water. Okay. Oh, I pour a little bit too much. Don't worry, we can just pour away a little bit. I know a lot of people. The question is like, they don't feel safe. Is because after even you do the capsule in, and also like electronics, electronics the water. Actually, it still feels like water. It doesn't feel like anything. Even like this thing, it doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't have color also. So you feel like just water to water and just going in the machine. And you don't feel that safe that this is a sanitizer. So what I do is I'm going to do a small test. Believe me, it's just a small test. It's not like scientist test. So we need to prepare a few things. First thing is this um, PPM test thing, test paper. Second thing is this pH paper that which is having this pH thing going on. Third thing I prepare is a small tube to get the water out. So we're going to do the small test. Let's go. So I actually make two two slides like this, and then it's just like before and after. That's so that you can see. Actually, after the uh, machine, they actually change the ppm. Actually, have the disinfectant. Um, effect in it so that you don't need to worry that it's actually not real. So after you take out the capsule, you basically turn. You just turn a few times, actually very slow. After you open it, it's a bit transparent, you cannot see, I know, but you just need to squeeze the water in. We finish this one. So now after we prepare the testing paper, we're actually going to take some of the uh, solution out from the machine that before it electronized. So we're going to just pick up some water from it. A little bit. So, so you're going to drip some of the one that is before 
and see what's the different uh, of it after. So this is before. If you check with the pH uh, guide, you can see that actually it's not much different. It's slightly more acidic, I believe. It's slightly, but it doesn't really show. I will say I don't really see that much of different. And then when the ppm, you can tell that it's not even reaching 50, 50 which is this blue. Now what they're having is just a transparent kind of like grayish kind of now. So we're going to turn on the machine. Uh, after it finish, then we can see how much is the difference. By the way, to turn on the machine to take this is around 8 minutes. Let's go. Okay, you can see the bubble but underneath. Actually, it's an irritonized thing. The water to make it become a disinfectant. I actually did accidentally press it without pressing the record button just now. <laughs> it's going to take about 8 minutes. So it will be a blue ring now and then when it's done it will become a green ring if it having issue that like say the solution having issue or like the water or something they may just give you the red one they actually tell you what is happening if you are having like having red light that means you are actually not going to have any disinfectant if you are like having them and just sit there for a few days and like in the day 12 they also will be a yellowish that means the disinfectant is like really really mild that you can't really use it anymore so sorry just now my phone battery was like totally gone so i actually need to go in and charge my battery first so now uh the fossil nature have already done and we're going to test it now make sure there's no water remaining So we're going to do the test now. Same thing, just grab in some. Actually, grab too much. Okay, I grab some water. I mean, solution. So we're going to do the. <laughs> we're going to do the test of this. So let's see what's the pH now. Oh, I just do it too violent. So even the. Uh, PPM paper have been wet and then you can tell that it's totally went to a blue uh, color now because it's a disinfectant so it's changed color we're going to search for the guideline for PPM okay now you can tell that this has become a totally deep blue color means that this is already become a disinfectant and a sanitizer but you can tell from the guide from the pH actually the pH doesn't change a lot okay I think it's still either 5 or 6 so before and after you can tell that before the white paper does not change the, even the pH paper does not change a lot it's still like slightly acid but not that bad when you have the new batch coming out as in after this disinfectant machine have been um, working you can actually see the ppm is like quite high now and then you will have the pH still safe to use so now we actually know that this is working so we're going to pour inside our uh, bottle only I must say is like the bottle they pour at us I'm not so sure my camera can capture it but I may do a photo later for the solution they cannot use for metal thing if you use it on the metal you actually need to mop it away very fast because it will actually make it rust so this um, head here is already rusted <laughs> for this solution good thing is it's non-toxic and then it's evaporated in the air so that it doesn't left any residue but the bad thing is because it actually um, very unstable if you it can only use for 14 days if you more than that it will have no disinfectant effect anymore the best thing is that you put down a label on your bottle to say that this is made by when or this is will be expired at when for me it's because I always finish it in one week so I actually make it like every Sunday but actually, you can pick a day that you make it that day or every two weeks so that you know that every time when you pick it up it's actually work if not you'll be not safe okay we're going to pour the solution now pulling this in front of the camera I actually quite worried I actually saw online people say if you remain a bit of the solution here and don't switch it off you can actually tell that is it um, having been through 14 days 
But my personality is like, I don't like it that way. So I just switch it off and then I just like, uh, make sure that I make a new batch soon. Sometimes when I make a new batch of this, and the old one is not yet done, I will just use it to clean the um, toilet or like the point of contact and to just finish it so that my new batch is going in is a new batch of like solution. For the compost waste which I'm showing in the previous video, I'm also using disinfectant to clean it when I come back from outside. Which is my watch, actually it's also waterproof, so I can actually clean it when I come back from outside too. We're going to use it a new cloth to get it clean for the point of contact. Now we're going to do the point of contact cleaning. Actually, uh, washer and dryer. <laughs> Sorry, because I only one person, so the shooting may be very bad. That's all for the video. Thank you for watching. And then hopefully this will be helping you to find some of the solution that um, the cleaning and avoid all the virus and all the flu and everything on this year. Thank you. And then see you soon.